Okay, I'm gonna need that. <laughs>
So this will spread it. Get it over those two pieces, put the screw back in it. Don't over tighten this one because it's squeezing the whole piston cylinder and if you get it too tight it'll pinch the piston. Okay, so now we put the hose back on. Make sure you don't put it underneath. You put it over. And they come with a little plastic hose clamp usually and I usually change them out for metal ones because they're stronger. Okay. I'm just going to test it with water first. Because I didn't put a lot of water in it, I just put a little bit. And you don't over pump. Oh, look at that. Oh, there we go. Nope. Okay. I think you're fixed. Awesome. So now you can. Mix and do what you do. You gonna break it again? No. <laughs> what did you do wrong? <laughs> probably pumped it too hard. That's probably <laughs> it. So we interrupt this video <laughs> to bring you a little PSA, I guess. We want to encourage everybody to be involved in their community. Absolutely. So we came to a groundbreaking. Yep. Or where they get fancy shovels and throw dirt at each other. Came to a groundbreaking this morning. What's it for, Kebo? It's for the new Mid-Continent Public Library. I believe it's their 31st location. 30th, That's a lot. 30, yeah, and um, and so it's a fantastic deal here in Green Valley. So um, you can see they've already built it, which is kind of funny that we did the uh, groundbreaking <laughs> yeah. after they started, but that's okay. It's a it's a state-of-the-art facility. It's gonna have a drive-through. It's gonna have all kinds of awesome stuff, can technology I, Can books. I order a cheeseburger in the drive-through? Well, I don't know about that, but, uh, <laughs> but you definitely order books. a book. <laughs> <laughs> So, again, support your local community. Come out and see some of the events and get involved. We didn't really do anything, but we came to support it. You know, it's, it, it is. It, there was, wasn't much for us to do, but it was important for us to be here. I think this week we've been to an event every day almost. Pretty for, much. For the city, taking time and, and, and saying thanks for all the people and the folks that make this happen, all the voters or uh, whatever organization that, that was. 22,000 something voters said yes to this. Yeah, it's a big deal. Yeah, there's and, uh, a lot more. That, that's a lot more than there are people here, so. Well, it just shows that people pay attention and they care about their community, so. Yeah, awesome. All right, well, we'll get you back to your regularly scheduled program and we'll get back to work. All right, see ya. All right, I want to address a couple of things at the end of this video because I know we're going to get tore up in the comments. Um, one of the rules that I have, I will fix a backpack or a sprayer for my guys at any point as long as they clean it, triple rinse it, get all the product and stuff out of it. And I've attended a uh, supplier b and g repair or backpack repair sessions where they say well we'll work on it you buy the parts uh, but you got to bring it cleaned out so that's very important because otherwise i got to work with gloves sleeves protective equipment all that kind of stuff um so i just wanted to address that first when ammon brought me his backpack it was cleaned out uh, and drained and properly done there, were, there was some product in the chamber, yes. I tried to take that outside, make sure I didn't get any on me or, or deal with that. But that's why I'm not wearing gloves. One, because it's really hard to run a camera with gloves and deal with all of that. And two, because I like to be able to see what's going on and actually you know, get in there and work with it. So should I be wearing gloves? Absolutely, if I'm wearing, working with chemicals or products it's hard to film. So 
you know, you got to give me a break on that. Anyway, we just want to cover some of the things that come up as they come up. If there's something specific that you guys want to see on the backpacks, let me know um, and we'll cover it. But routine maintenance on these is cleaning them. Obviously, there are replacement parts that you can get. There's seals in the caps. There's breather um, parts. This tray is very important. You saw us putting water in it without the tray. The tray is to protect the hose from getting into the product that's inside. So that's what it's designed for. But we do require our guys to pop it out before they put product in, put it back in before they put water in. As far as maintenance on these, obviously you have to replace hoses will get wore out, triggers will break, wands will break, tips, all that kind of stuff you can buy online. Um, the main thing that we do every week is the filter is located right here. So the main thing that you can service on the backpacks is the tip because this red plastic tip, if the guys drag it on the ground, it'll break it. And then inside, if you unscrew the cap, the filter is located right in there. It's a, just a screen filter. You can actually push the red cap out and get the filter out itself, or you can just clean it like this. So that's one thing you got to do, uh, I'd say every week, depending on how much you use it. But cleaning the actual tank itself out, making sure that the trigger doesn't get heavy stuff set on it or stepped on and then cleaning your filter once a week. That's really what you need to do, but the backpacks, you can order parts. So <clears throat> that's it for today. If there's something you want to see done on one of these or you need help with, uh, drop it in the comments below and I'll try to get to it. That's it for today. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you.